The distributed load is linearly increasing from 10 newtons per meter to 25 newtons per meter over the 5 meter length of the beam. I want to find out what the reactions are at the wall. So the first thing I have to do is a free body diagram. The wall, I'm going to have two forces, AX and AY, and a moment, MA. I need to break the trapezoid up into something I can deal with. For example, if I'm looking for the area under the trapezoid, I can break this trapezoid up out of these two areas, a rectangle of 10 newtons per meter acting over the 5 meters, and a triangle sitting on top of it of 15 newtons per meter acting over the 5 meters. Remember, if it's pushing down along the beam, it can push down at 10 newtons per meter, and then additionally where you need it to. The nice thing about that is that I can say my area for A1 is 10 times 5, it's 50 newtons, and I know where that acts. That acts in the middle of the beam. This is 50 newtons at 2.5 meters from the wall. The second area is also an area I can figure out. It's 1 half, 15 times 5, or 37 and a half newtons. And I know where that acts, too. That acts at a third of the way from the big end, which is 1.67 meters, leaving me on my free body diagram 0.83 meters in the middle. Now I can find my equilibrium. AX is equal to 0. AY minus 50 minus 37.5 equals 0. And the moment at A, which I defined as counterclockwise, minus 50 times 2.5 and minus 37.5 acting at 2 thirds of 5 away from the wall equals 0. That solves to give you AY is 87.5 and MA is 250. Answer the question. The reactions at the wall are 0 0.000 newtons horizontally, 87.5 newtons up, and 250 newtons meters counterclockwise. Notice you can break these up into different shapes. You can integrate if you want to. You could say y is equal to your slope of 15 newtons per meter acting over x plus 10. You could integrate that to find out your total magnitude and find the centroid of it to figure out where it works. There are a lot of different ways to solve these, but no matter how you do it, make sure that you understand how to get the right answer.